In the last video, I talked about how to teach your dog to stay next to you and what to do when they pull. Today, I want to look at a couple of reasons why they pull and what we can do to get them to stop. You may have heard me say before that we know a lot more about training dogs today than we did a couple of years ago. For this reason, it is best to use a harness or a regular flat collar whenever you're working with your dog. It is not a good idea to use a prong collar or a choke chain. And the reason why I don't like using these devices is because I don't think they tackle the problem directly. When you think about it, pulling on the leash is not the problem, it is the symptom. If we are able to identify and address the root, the cause of the pulling, the symptom disappears on its own. Always train your dog from the inside out. Teach him to think and you will have an incredible bond with your dog. And I'm not necessarily saying that people that use prong collars know nothing about dogs. What I am saying is that there is another way out there to do it and it works and that's what this video is about. What happens sometimes is that dogs get over aroused by simply being outside. It's exciting, it's different, they're surrounded by all these smells and that can lead to a lot of excitement. What you can do is take a couple of breaks on your walk, give your dog a chance to sit or lie down. It helps to give them a stuffed chew toy to keep them occupied and they will start to relax. What's going to happen is soon enough the connection between being outside and being really excited will start to diminish. Excitement is often triggered in dogs when they see a leash because they know that it means it's time to go for a walk. Don't let the leash be that special thing they see only when they're going for a walk. You can clip it on and off several times throughout the day even when you're not going anywhere so they realize that putting a leash on doesn't really mean anything. I think that one of the main reasons why dogs pull on walks is because they want to go and sniff. I think that it's okay for a dog to do that. I mean, it's one of the main reasons we take them on walks in the first place. However, we have to add some structure to this. Don't let the dog decide whenever they want to stop and sniff. When you see a patch of grass or an area where you want to allow your dog to sniff, tell them to sit first and then release them with an okay, go sniff. Give them a few seconds, you can follow them around on a loose leash. When you're ready to move on, simply tell them, let's go, and start walking. It is important that once you've said, let's go, you actually start walking. Otherwise, the words, let's go, aren't really going to mean anything. If your dog pulls only at certain times, practice in those specific situations. For instance, if your dog likes to bolt out the front door, do it over and over and over until it gets boring. Attach a leash to your dog as though you're going for a walk. But instead, after you get outside, turn around and go back in. Finally, proceed to take off the leash. Repeat this process several times in a row. You and your dog will both become bored of this exercise. The consequence is that he or she will no longer charge off with the anticipation of going on a walk. Once your dog leaves the house calmly, do they actually get to go somewhere? Now the walk has become a reward for being calm rather than a reward for unruly behavior. So as you are trying any of these things, remember that your consistency will have a huge payoff. And once you teach your dog to be calm, they're gonna wanna be nowhere else but right next to you.